Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to get back on the uh, uh, gauges for the AT1 to CT1. I've uh, got this, uh, got the speedometer to do. Uh, I'm not going to go into as much depth on this one. I'm just going to take you along for the ride and kind of show you the things that are different. So let's get to it here. All right. Uh, one thing different about this one is you've got the, the little knob that uh, for your reset and it's a very small Phillips type screw. You'll just go down into the, uh, uh, the center of it right here and that's what you're after in there. And again, I've got a, uh, some cardboard wrapped around it and tape and first thing we've got to do is just start on the, uh, start removing the, the, uh, well not removing it, but bending it up the ledge here. Been putting this off cause I just, I hate this so much, but it does have to be done. Alright, we're kind of into it already, so there we go. And here's our here's our can. Everything looks like it made it through all the bending process. I just hate that, but that's kind of how it how you got to do it. And then we got our little B screws here. Everything's just so small. My hands are just too big to do much of this. All right. Okay, now I've, we want to set this back, so you've got to reach in here and there's a little keeper. And you can just pull that out and then that will allow this to push this way against that little spring and then you can pull it out but you got a, you got a little spring right here and this little uh, washer so you don't want to lose those And then you've just got to kind of pull these apart a little bit and uh, move them. Okay, the next, let's see here. I may not have to do all that, but I think I will. These things are feeling kind of sluggish. They probably need cleaned. But you gotta, you gotta make sure you you see all these little right things right here, they go over this right here. You can see the witness marks where they were. And I believe what I've got to do here is pull this snap ring off. It's probably, let me see here. I don't do this all the time, so I can't really remember for sure, but I think I'm going to try to take the snap ring off of this side. Oh, there it is. And I'm going to get my 
a little microfiber towel or something here over here, I believe. Got another clip there. Maybe you're supposed to do it from the other side, but it's kind of hard to get in there and to get to it. But this side is uh, kind of the same way. See, these hook them together so there's no way to, I don't think. They're going to be in the wrong place if you just screw that around. You've got to pull them apart, if I remember right. Okay, you just kind of lay everything out here. And you want to try to get all of these in line with each other and get all your zeros up if that's what you want to do. It's kind of a tedious little job. Oops, that one's off just a little bit. that way. There you go. So we've got we've got all these lined up and we're back to zero. Okay, we've got the odometer set back and uh, so that that should be good there. And I've just got to mark my face, my new face. Actually, I'm marking the piece there, the old one. Just trying to get it lined up and the mark back there so I'll know where that 50 is. Yep, should be. 
Okay, so my next step is to uh, take this off. I'll put that in the uh, on the uh, surface plate and I'll uh, sand that. And I've got my 1500 grit. A little soap and water. Doesn't take too long to get through the screen print. Okay, again on this one, we've got the, uh, it's just a little bit big, so we're going to trim it. But the final trim will be when we, uh, when we get it stuck on there. So I'm trimming this out just a little bit broad. And then we'll, we'll get our final clean with the isopropyl alcohol. get our fingerprints and that kind of stuff off. It's a good idea to wash your hands before you start this too. And I just went in and did that. All right. And like I did before, I'm just applying a little bit of uh, soap and water to that piece and see if I can get the I probably have to reapply that too. I do it it's just so I can move it around a little bit. Well, I'm having trouble getting this. Let me get this uh, okay I've applied a little bit of water to both. Got a little hair there and I want that under that. And we find where the uh, line marks up, or lines up. Right there. But I want that up just a little bit. Yeah, still, still needs to come up. Okay, I think I got it where I want it now. And again, from the inside out with your micro microfiber towel. It looks good. And then just like the other one, just go around and do your final trim. And just like with the other one, just find your 
places you need to cut out. And start that process. When you do this, uh, the odometer and the trip, make sure you go straight in with your blade because it's going to fold down on a little taper here. So you don't want to cut it in an angle and cut all that off too. So once you get that stuck, then you can go trim any excess there. And I'm doing that from, from the outside, just like that. Okay, this is your trip right here, and it's got to be able to push over. So we want to make sure that we've got just a little bit of oil And right here on this one, because it slides, not a lot, you don't want to mess. Okay, it looks like it's doing what it needs to do. And we've got, got all our, we didn't even touch this here, but we've got these all in place like they were. This is going to go up here and we'll just put our screws in. And again, we want to uh, give our, our hand a little bit of black paint just to freshen it up. Oops, I think I better redo that. Maybe a smaller piece. Because we're going to paint the orange, or repaint the orange. like that and uh, when that's good and dry then we'll repaint the orange and make sure you clean your glass on the inside because once you put it together <clears throat> you're not going to be able to do anything about whatever without taking it back apart so just make sure you're good on the inside and that kind of means you're going to have to clean it on the outside too. All right, now we just need to try to get our needle back on. Looks about right. 
They always move a little bit. Just, I think that's it. Ah, it moved again. All right, I think I got it satisfactorily now. still all right so let's uh, see if we can get it back in there let's see the trip goes to the left that's right here looks like we're pretty much lined up Nope, I don't have my screwdriver though. Alright. Looks good. Pretty sure I've got a boot for this uh, for the trip. I'll have to look for one and see. All right, let's uh, I think I better hook it up and make sure it's going to work. All right. I've got her pretty clean. Had to take a razor blade and go around the outside here. Uh, it probably had moisture sitting down there, so it got some calcium deposits. But I think that's pretty good. So I'll try to get this back on. Okay. Robert, I took your advice and put two pieces of uh, shrink wrap on my pliers. And we'll just see how that does. I don't know, probably, I'll probably have to put some more on, but It'll probably last longer than the tape. Okay, everything's looking pretty good, so we'll continue on with the recrimp.
Okay, that worked very good. It slides off once in a while, but I slipped it over on both sides and I made it all the way through without breaking through on the uh, uh, shrink wrap. So that's a good idea. Thank you. And looks like we're still good to go there. Let me clean this uh, damper up a little bit. There we go. Let me get some uh, vinyl and rubber uh, stuff there and then we'll get our uh, button on. And just like I did before, just put a little wires on it. I got a little more on there than I needed. All righty. Got the new little rubber here. That's, you got the flat part down at the bottom here. You just kind of have to remember that when you're putting your button on. And we've got the button and the screw. Well, let me clean that up a little. All right. I think I forgot where that thing was, which orientation I had it in when I started. Well, I think it goes a different direction here anyway. Yeah, had it kind of turned the wrong way. Okay, it's over to hit this side over here. Hmm. Okay, got it all back together. Pretty happy with it. Now we just got to get it on the bike. That sometimes can be a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at it. All back on the bike with the new rebuilt switch that we did here a couple episodes ago. So we've got just about everything back on here. We've got to do paint so we can get the headlight ears on and uh, then consequently the bucket and still got to hook that up. Just like that. So not too bad, making some headway. Okay, there you have it guys. Uh, we've got both instruments redone, new faces on them, cleaned up and installed. So we're on this one here, we've just pretty much got to get the wiring harness, the main harness on, 
and everything connected up. I think all the uh, the smaller harnesses from the switches and whatnot are done. We just need to get it hooked up and get everything hooked up on the bike. And you know, at that point, we're waiting on paint, so we're waiting till it warms up here in Montana. But uh, you know, once we get the wiring harness all hooked up, then we should be able to uh, probably do a, a see it run type thing. So we'll we'll head that direction, and uh, then we'll go ahead and fill up the oil and and all that stuff, and see if it'll run. Hey. Thanks for going along on the ride, and we'll see you next video.